Hello and welcome to the Stephen Mendes channel. Here we're experimenting with some soft sync on our modular analog synthesizer. The wave at the top is twice the frequency of the wave at the bottom. And the wave at the top is the one we're hearing. And because the tuning is so good, the phase is only shifting very slowly, as you can see, relative to one another. The sine wave at the bottom is going to be our soft sync input for the wave at the top. And the one we're hearing right now is the wave at the top. Now look what happens as we gradually turn up the soft sync control. That's at maximum. The waves are slipping relative to each other and that's what's producing that motorboating type of sound as the waves slip relative to each other now I haven't troubled the frequency adjustment all I have been changing is the soft sync amount and I'm gradually reducing the soft sync back to zero but suppose at this point in time I raise the frequency or attempt to raise the frequency slightly that's what we'll do now we leave the soft sync at about 50% the amount, soft sync amount at 50% and we'll now try to raise the frequency slightly on the oscillator that's supposed to be synced, the top waveform.
Now we've gone to a higher frequency and we have 50% soft sync. What will happen now if we try to increase the soft sync amount? soft sink at maximum now Alright, it's locking in there pretty much at um, slipping slightly still. See if I could compensate for that. Now notice I'm not changing the frequency, I'm only changing the soft sink amount. There, I've got it there now. The frequency now is higher than the 2 to 1 that we originally started with. Now I'm going to leave the soft sink amount at approximately 4, which is slightly less than half. Actually it's, um, it's about 3.8 on the amount as, uh, scale for the soft sink. And I'm going to reduce the frequency back to the perfect octave. I'm going to reduce the frequency back to the perfect octave so that the, the oscillator that is being synced is exactly one octave or twice as much as the sinking. Remember that the sinking waveform is the one at the bottom. Alright, so watch what happens now as I, I touch the frequency. much back to where it was and the only thing I'm gonna do now is reduce the soft sink amount back to zero and see what sort of phase shift we're getting between the two waveforms so I'm decreasing the soft sink amount back to zero now started the soft sink is zero and the waveforms are so well tuned that they're not the phase is not even slipping and I think that's a credit to the accuracy and stability of these oscillators that once I've tuned them and normally you wouldn't expect to get this 
uh, the, normally the phase would be slipping relative to each other since the waves are not synced at all. I have the sync at zero. But it's quite clear that the soft sync system is not like the hard sync. And uh, you might like it or you might not, but like, like two gears that are not meshing, uh, it will slip, the waveform will slip relative to each other with the soft sync, which produces that grating kind of grinding sound. I'm not sure whether you like it or not, but that's our little take on soft sync. Thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel, and once again, do send us your comments.